What's going on and welcome to Joe's Geek Show, the video series We Talk Comics, and today I'm going to be giving you my October 2nd, 2018 comic book pull list. <laughs> Overall, I'd say today was pretty good. Uh, I mean, I walked into my comic book store, got a decent stack of comics, more than I have been getting, I'd say between last week and this week, it's actually not too bad. There's, there's been some good comic books coming out, which is really exciting for me. And, like always, I've classified these books from DC to Marvel to Small Press, and let's get started. Kicking it off with Deceased issue number five, and I am ready for the next chapter in Tom Taylor's Deceased storyline, which is the DC Zombies mashup stuff going on. And I remember uh, earlier on today, I was on Facebook, I saw that Tom Taylor had made a post saying, go ahead, pick it up, read it real quick, because the spoilers are out there, and it was the hardest issue that he's had to write so far. And with just one more issue until the end, I am really excited to see what he did within this issue. Next up, we have The Flash, 100 page giant, book number one. And this was something that was in my pull box, even though I'm not subscribed to the 100 page giants. And I was actually surprised to actually find a 100 page giant inside my comic book store because I thought these were Walmart exclusives. Then I had to go online and read that they were no longer Walmart exclusives, but Walmart's gonna be getting them first. But it, it just comes in my pull box anyway, apparently, because I am subscribed to The Flash and they know if they put a Flash book in my pull box, I'm, I'm, I'm probably just gonna buy it anyway. I mean, they've done it with more or less anything else Flash related, comics, pops. And I was kind of debating not picking it up at first just due to the fact that if I had remembered correctly that the 100 page giants were primarily reprints of old comic books. But then when I opened up the first page and looked at the credits of all the stories in the book, the first two Flash stories were labeled all new, but then everything else was reprint and there was like one Green Arrow story in this book. But for 4 99 two new Flash stories, I decided, eh, sure, why not? Now moving on to the final DC book, and that is Justice League, issue number 33. And I can definitely say for a change, I'm caught up on my Justice League reading, and yeah, I'm into it. I am into what's going on so far within the Justice League books. And I cannot wait to dive into this one, because, man, this whole year of the villain, Justice versus Doom War. I know I'm not saying too much right now, but that's just due to the fact that I'm going to review the other Justice League books, including this one. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep myself reserved, keep my opinions to myself. But rest assured, you will find out how I feel. And now we are moving into the Marvel category with Ghost Rider, issue number one. And I am so excited because I have not been on an ongoing Ghost Rider series since, oh my gosh, the 2007, the, the last Johnny Blaze story arc where Satan got out into the real world and he was I guess broken down into like 666 pieces. So Ghost Rider had to go and kill every single person that was possessed by the devil, which, but that's kind of also what the devil wanted because every time Johnny took out one piece, that piece kind of flew off, latched onto another piece, which made the devil actually stronger. And I gotta go back and reread that series. That was a good one. Next up, we have the Immortal Hulk, issue number 24. And yeah. It's the Immortal Hulk. It's been good. It's been good. Everything I want in a Hulk book. Violence. Gore. Horror. If I could ever see a Hulk movie this crazy, that would make my day. That would probably make my year. No. That'll make my life. But, you know, that, 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 that'll probably never happen. No, because Disney's got to keep the Hulk kid friendly, even though Disney themselves, I don't think, can actually make single Hulk movies because as far as I know, the film rights are still with Universal Studios. Did, did Disney buy back the Hulk completely? Research. I must do research. And the last comic book on this pull list is, well, since we got the Immortal Hulk, we have to get 
The Absolute Carnage, Immortal Hulk issue number one. Still written by Al Ewing, so it's gotta be just as good, right? Right? Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, that completes this October 2nd, 2019 comic book pull list, and I would like to know what you picked up today. Please leave your comments in the comment section below, and if you like this video, I'd love it if you'd smash that like button, share it with some friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and ring that notification bell for more comic book content. Alright, take care, have a great day, let's read some comics, and as always, stay geeky.